Uh, what I would oh, recommend okay. against Protoss is uh, the gate. It's a free gate robo expand. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Which is literally you get a gateway. Yeah. Uh, you get a robotics and then add on two gateways and get an observer out, and mm -hmm. then yep. an immortal followed. Um, as long as you aren't getting four gated, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know how common four gates are. Probably uh, very, very not common. That common. <laughs> I, no? I see a lot more three stalker push and um, mm -hmm. oh, you know, crazy proxy gateways and stuff like that. But <laughs> yeah. Well, um, uh, I mean, it, like obviously, like don't just kind of blindly follow what I say. Like, sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, if but you that should be my goal is to to try to get that expansion and get up to Colossus plus one, yeah. and then going to attack it around. Well, 12 minutes or so, if I've yeah. got a, a single Colossus. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, cool. what you should find is, in these games, you're you're so concentrated on getting as much as you can for 12 minutes that, you know, you forget probes, and you forget mm. uh, a gateway, or you forget pylons. Like, that's absolutely fine for you to forget those things, because mm -hmm. eventually it all gels. Like, don't expect to go into a game and, you, you know, oh, I know this build, I'm going to do it. And then everything yeah. goes fine um, because it, it'll never work like that. It doesn't work for anyone. <laughs> right. Um, so I kind of like the idea of. I mean, I've heard that before. Like, try to aim for the whole eleven minute or twelve minute attack. Yeah. And I kind of like that too because it sort of puts a limit on how long my games are going to be. My games sometimes, you know, in Silver League, you know, it's like thirty minute games because nobody attacks. <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh, We just stand around. So uh, yeah, that'll be good. Okay. Um. Just like let's just go by example here. Um. If you put the replay to eleven minutes and thirty seconds, for example. Okay. Jump. 11 minutes. Oh, I can... Okay, got it. Okay. Uh, so, right now, if you're following this plan, you will have, uh, you know, say, let's say, 5 sentries, 10 zealots, 10 stalkers, and 2 colossus, okay? Right. With plus 1. And take a look at the zerg. What's he got? <laughs> 10 roaches, and that's it. <laughs> you win. Yep. Yeah? Yep. I mean, I have to get across the map, but even then, by the time by the time I get across, he can't he can't make that much more with his twelve uh, his twelve larva. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a nice little addition, by the way, isn't it? Uh, you can see larva yep. count now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really. Great. But I mean, like you walk across this map, okay? He's got no map vision until you get to pretty much his side of the map with a creep. Yep. So he has got exactly ten seconds. And by then, you know, your army is completely melted his. Right. There is there is absolutely no stopping that as a Zerg from that position. Um, cool. But yeah, just don't be afraid to play safe to make sure you achieve that goal. Okay. Of the kind of, you know, 11, 12 minute push. Right. Um, I mean, that's what your goal needs to be for like every game you go into from now on. It's just try to get a Colossus or two you know, five gates and expansion and plus one and then push at 12 minutes. It doesn't matter what order you get them in. Like, for example, if you find that, you know, someone's being overly aggressive with lings, like, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to get those gateways first to know okay. to secure your expansion. Right. And then add on the Robo and the Colossus tech, as long as it's all there by 12 minutes and right. you're safe. Like, the most important thing right now is just staying alive until the, until that 12-minute mark. And then you can push out. And then you'll find that at 12 minutes, eventually, you know, you've pushed out, you've won, you know? Yeah. Or you'll find that you've pushed out and you've done enough damage and then suddenly your gameplay evolves into taking a third. Right. And then with that third base, you can then, you know, move on to High Templar or Archon or whatever else your game wants to evolve into. Like, eventually you'll find out that it flows, like, really, really well. Like, right now, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like, okay, I need to do, I need to expand. And then it's like, then what? And then it's like, okay, I can add some gateways. Then what? Like, yeah. it's kind of like, it feels like you're jumping hurdles rather than, you know, running in a straight line. Yeah. But eventually, like, if you've set yourself these little goals, like, uh, at 12 minutes, I'm pushing with this, this, and this. And I will either crush him or do enough damage. Yeah. And then your gameplay goes like, then what? But eventually, it will go to, right, I can attack him at 12 minutes, 
I can kill off his third, I can retreat and take a third of my own. And eventually your gameplay just evolves naturally um, into like a, a really good flow. And then once you achieve that flow, that's when you start getting really good at StarCraft. Um, like most people will have a trick and if the trick don't work, they lose. Yeah. Like you'll see it all the time. You'll see people that are like, you know, even some masters, you know, know a trick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they know, they know a trick, yeah. and if that trick doesn't work, they lose. Yeah. And these are the people that will, you know, look at you and go, "Oh, you're silver. You don't know how to play," you know. <laughs> but they won't improve while you will, yeah. and eventually. You know their trick gets stopped. You know people evolve past the point where their trick just doesn't work anymore, yeah. and then all of a sudden, you know they're being demoted and they're being, you know, forced to practice properly, and you're just overtaking a lot of them. I mean, that's that's pretty much how I got to masters. Um, nice. You know, I had tricks um, up until like platinum, and then I realised that this isn't the way to play, so I taught myself. You know how to macro, how to take extra bases, how to, you know, transition, and eventually it just molds into some, you know, a great knowledge of the game, and you know you yeah. can achieve everything you want to with StarCraft. Nice. Anyway, I've blabbed on for long enough, so let's go to the next replay. Cool. Uh, which one would you like to look at? Uh, let's do the. Um... We have to go back to the previous patch for this next one, I think. Okay, it's um, no problem. Which one did I send you? The How Not to Scout, maybe? Uh, yeah, it's about 11 minutes long. Yeah. Okay. And, so, again, it'll take me a second to open that up. Yeah, no problem. Just hopefully it doesn't crash my client since I'm running, like, uh, you know, broadcasting right. software. <laughs> <laughs> It's very CPU intensive, these broadcasting softwares. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And actually, StarCraft kind of sucks up a lot of energy, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, by far. I mean, I tried streaming Battlefield 3, and I swear to God my processor nearly melted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got a good computer as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so I am all set here. Okay, uh, so we'll hit play in 3, 2, 1, go. Got it. Okay. So... I mean, right, you spawned Shattered Temple against a Terran. Is this a friend of yours, or is this just ladder? Nope, this is an actual ladder game. Okay, that's good, that's good. Um, oh, well-mannered as well, that's always nice. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, uh, so, while you, um, if you just explain to me, like, what your kind of goal is for this match, if you have one. Yeah. If you don't, that's absolutely so, fine. Well, I try uh, to sort out some audio settings. <laughs> sure, sure, no problem. Um, so, in PvP, I basically do a three gate expand. Um, uh, I would have, I would usually want to get double forge for double upgrades, and then go robo. Once I've got my my expansion up, then go robo three more gateways. Um, I like charge zealots, um, and uh -huh. maybe think about getting a third. But honestly, in most versus Terran games, um, I guess it never really gets much. I guess. I guess I occasionally get the, the Nexus up, but it seems like the Terrans that I face, which there aren't there very many of them, but they're really aggressive. So they're usually doing a one base attack, and I kind of have to learn to scout it. And this game is an example of bad scouting. <laughs> I had no idea what he was up to. Okay. I prepared for really wrong, so. <laughs> okay, that makes like perfect sense, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I mean, most people, uh, you know, just don't even bother scouting. Like, uh, yeah, I'm I mean, I'm always, I always, always recommend scouting. Like, um, yeah. I just don't always do a very good job of making sense of what I see, so we can kind of look at what I actually see in this game and the, the, the decisions I made. Where I'm like, once I look at it afterwards, I'm like, wow, so bad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I did make a robo and, and I got an observer out, but I didn't really use my observer very well. Um, so, yeah, anyway, lots of. Uh, I really. Uh, I've actually practiced my PDT opening uh, more than my other openings. Uh, although I'm wondering if that was after this game, where I was like, oh my god, I just need to practice my PDT opening. Yeah. But uh, it still just needs lots of practice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, 
So again, I'd, I'd definitely recommend the kind of like uh, 11 to 12 minute push um, with Colossus, especially against a Terran. I mean, Colossus absolutely wrecked Terran. So here my probe sees just the barracks, mm -hmm. uh, no add-on and nothing else showing, and I'm like, huh, that seems kind of that seems kind of strange. Right. So I resolved at that point, I'm like, all right, I need to get an observer in here, figure out what's going on. Okay. Which I think I could have. Oh, I spent money on a stalker and a and the warp gate, of course. Mm. I'd uh, recommend getting a uh, sentry out first versus yep. Terran. Uh, just so you can force field that ramp. Uh, okay. Just in case he does do like a crazy, you know, marine marauder all in or anything, yeah. you can just hold him off for that little bit longer. Um, warp gate's looking good. Uh, I'd I'd get a pylon close to that ramp as well. That's always just a yeah. nice little thing. But again, that's just little fine tuning. Yeah. So basically, he's denied all your scouting, so you don't know what's going on. Um. In this sort of situation, I. Uh, it looks like you're doing it, but I definitely try and take this middle. Um, that gives you, that gives you all the vision you kind of need. So you're going in with stalker and the zealot. Yeah, I just want to poke a little bit, see what I can see. Mm -hmm. I have enough for a robo right now. Yeah. Need to do it. Go, 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 little zealot. Mm -hmm. What's going on up there? And again, like, just four marines standing around doing nothing. I'm like, oh, this guy is banshee rushing me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, uh, he's up to something. And uh, what it turns out he's doing is just massing bios. <laughs> yeah. He was just being very clever by not showing it. So it's like, okay, well, that's that's sneaky. Mm -hmm. um, so I got a couple sentries now. I'm totally not using my chrono. There I go. I'm chrono mm. boosting some stuff now. Okay. Um, you should definitely, uh, as soon as your warp gate's done, like, just stop building units at gateways and just change the warp gate. Yeah. Yeah, I have a hard time making that decision sometimes. Like, I'm like, well, if I'm almost done with the unit, then I'll go ahead and finish making it. Yeah. You're right, if I'm less than halfway through making it, I just cancel. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely fine. So, he scans you, you know, you have no idea what's going on right now. Right. Um, so, your robo bay is almost done. So I hope an instant observer right now. Yeah, I know, and I, I think I delay a little bit. Oh. Okay, your observer's on the way. Um, just rally your observer straight to his base. Is what I do as well. Um, instead of like you rally it to the side or to your army, just get. If you don't know what's going on, just get an observer in there as quick as possible. I mean, right now, uh, you know, this build is absolutely perfect. You know, you've got your free gates, you've got your robo going down. I mean, that's really, really good. You've got a couple of sentries. Um, I would literally, right now, get that observer to his base. Yep. And then, as long as it seems, you know, fine, just go expand. Right. You know? Yeah, and uh, instead, my observer just floats around in my base for... I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm like, going down <laughs> south? I don't know what... I'm so convinced he's got pansies. Yeah. Like, oh, I was thinking... I'm like, I'm going to keep this observer here to detect the Dimension, which is, like, stupid as hell, uh -huh. because, I don't know, I should have just... <laughs> that's that's I'm fine. I'm making another observer, but I'm not rallying that one to his base. Yeah, either. okay. That's absolutely fine. I mean, you can get an observer out in, let me uh -huh. see, uh, 40 seconds, and that's, like, what, 32 seconds if you chrono boost? Right. I mean, if, like, you fly your, observ your first observer over... And you see a Banshee or a Starport of a Tech Lab, you know, it only takes 30 seconds to make another observer. Um, yep. So I like your expansion here, that's very, like, really good. Um, what did your observer see? Let's see. Okay, so you scout. It goes to a bad spot. But... So, yeah, so you scout barracks, barracks. Uh, so you go check on his army, now, that's good. I see him heading out. And I think, oh shit, that's a lot of Marines and Marauders. Yeah, so um, I cancel the expansion and just warp in as many units as you can and just yeah. abuse the high ground um, just really really abuse the high ground like obviously uh, yeah so you move down here yeah. um, when you could have just like stayed at the top he can't shoot you you can shoot him and you can block him from your main yeah. uh, guardian shield that's really good 
Stalkers versus Marine Marauder isn't 